Okay, guys, this is take two. <laughs> okay, I messed up on take one, but I'm back again. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Grandma Ray Don't Play. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rachel. All right, so I'm going to, I would had a request to if I can make some uh, vegetarian uh, dishes. So, today we're going to be having a vegetarian rice. It's going to be actually be a fried rice, just like um, like you go to a Chinese restaurant and you get chicken fried rice or shrimp fried rice. Well, this is going to be fried rice, except it's not going to have any meat, okay? And I have some unusual vegetables that you wouldn't find at the Chinese restaurant. And it's just for you. For you to kind of open up your imagination about rice and the different things that you can do so that you can bring... Um, some new light to the new dishes that you are going to learn to your table. Okay? Alright. Thanks in advance. Let's do it. Thumbs up if you like it. Share the video. Subscribe. Okay. Okay. So let me introduce you to some items. We're going to put some olive oil in this frying pan first. The pot is hot already. I have some scallions and let me show you what scallions look like in case you don't know. Scallions is in the onion family and when you go to like the Chinese restaurant you'll, you'll see them. This is what a scallion looks like, okay? So I cut off the top part. You can see what's left here. All right. So that's what we're going to be using, scallion. So let's put the scallion in. And then we have some broccoli. Well, that was a, a half a cup of scallion, a fourth of a cup of broccoli. half a cup of mushrooms, a fourth of a cup of tomatoes, a half a cup of cut up red peppers. So you can see we're going for a punch of color, okay? So what I have left is some bean sprouts, which we're going to put in after we add the rice, okay? And I have some cabbage here. And I'm going to add the cabbage at the last minute also because, you know, cabbage will get soft and um, I want it to have like a crunch to it, okay? Okay, let's turn our fire back on. I'm not going to put any salt in this because I'm going to be using soy sauce, but I'm using... Uh, less sodium soy sauce. Oh wow guys. Look at those fall colors, would you? Great. Okay, we're going to put a top on that. I know I'm going to add pepper, so I'll get that down. And... The rice is cooking in the rice cooker. So when you do your, uh, when you're following me, already have your rice cooked. Whether it's in the rice cooker or you cook it on the stove or in the oven. However you want to do it. And uh, by the way, I haven't uh, showed you another video how to cook rice in the oven in a long time. I think I should revisit that and show you uh, another way. a little more olive oil. Okay, so we're going to let this cook for about, uh, I would say, three minutes, and I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's check on our vegetables. We have the peppers and the mushrooms, the broccoli, the tomatoes. 
the scallions. Oh, and it smells so good, guys. Oh, wow, does it smell good. So those tomatoes are going to break down and give off a nice flavor as well. All right, I want to add some pepper. Let's add our cabbage. This is a quarter of a cabbage, of a small cabbage, that I just cut up. Like so. Let's add that in. We're going to put a little oil on top of the cabbage. Okay. We only want the cabbage to cook for about maybe two or three minutes. Top. Okay. I'm going to say that this is done. I'm going to cut the fire off. And I'm waiting on my rice. And... While I'm waiting on the rice, why don't I give you the word of the day? Thanks. Okay, so our rice is done in the rice cooker. So I just turned this frying pan with our vegetables back on. So now we're going to take the rice and add it to the frying pan. Here's the rice that cooked in the rice cooker. We're going to add our bean sprouts, the last vegetable we're going to add. And we're going to add our soy sauce, our low sodium soy sauce. Now if you don't like low sodium, you can pick whatever kind of soy sauce you like. So I'm adding soy sauce, and you want to add a lot so that the color of the rice will end up a brown color. It's not going to be a dark brown color because this is uh, less sodium, so it's lighter. I'm going to add some more pepper onto the rice. And some more olive oil. Okay, now let's pretend we're stir fry. Wow, guys, look at that. Now I saved out some bean sprouts. I added a cup to the rice and I saved out uh, about a half a cup to put on the top for garnishment. Okay, I want this a little more, um, the rice colored uh, a little more with the soy sauce. Oh yeah, that's the color we're looking for. 
a nice light brown color. All right, let me taste this. Wow. It actually tastes good. I'm not missing anything. So I'm going to cut that off. It's all done. So you can see how you can now take rice and be very creative, okay? And you don't have to use meat. So this is a um, vegetarian dish that anybody can enjoy, whether you're vegetarian or not, okay? All right, so I delivered. Let me put that in a, uh, a dish and pr present it to you. One second. Okay, guys. So these are the bean sprouts that I have left, um, which is a half a cup. So I started this here, um, putting it on the top. But I wanted to bring you back to show you because I think it's important for you to see how to decorate your dish as well as cooking it. It makes a big difference. Now bean sprouts, you do not have to cook, so it's okay. And this is going to give you a nice crunch when you bite into it. Let me show you this. Look at that, guys. Oh, does that say let's eat or what? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let me taste that for you. The word of the day. The word of the day is be encouraged. The best is yet to come. Be encouraged. That's the word of the day. You've been there before, and you came out on top. So just be encouraged. Hang in there, okay? All right, so let me taste this for you. Oh, can't wait to taste the um, vegan fried rice. No, not vegan. Vegetarian, I'm going to call it. Mmm. Right away, I taste the crunch of the bean sprouts. The cabbage actually gets lost. I like it. It's not mushy or nothing because, you know, we put it in only for, and cooked it for only like a minute or two. Mmm. This will work, guys. Mm. I love it. I hope you do, too. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thumbs up, share the video, share the video. Please share the video and subscribe. Bye-bye.